Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another book video. I am literally so excited to make this video. I feel like I say that for every video, but I am very excited to make this one. Today I'm going to be taking you guys along to shop for Christmas related books. I'm really excited because I low-key feel like I have never even read like a Christmas related book. I definitely have read books that take place in winter, but I don't think I've read like a Christmas book if that makes sense when i was at school i actually went to the bookstore that we have in town with my roommate fran and i got a couple books there support small businesses you know and then today i'm going with my friend sarah to barnes and noble i definitely definitely want to try and find a book that's not just like a hallmark romance type christmas book i really want to try and find like a thriller that's around christmas time because i love thrillers i'm gonna like do some research first before i go and see if i can like find one online that I think I would like but we'll see if they have it when they get there today is also Black Friday so I'm sure the store is going to be so crowded but I'm hoping they'll have a couple deals we'll see if not it's okay I just think that'd be a plus but right now I'm going to show you guys the footage that I took with Fran when we went to the little bookstore in Pleasantville it's super cute I love going to that bookstore so yeah that was really fun and here's that for you guys so I'm here with Fran this is before Thanksgiving break I'm recording the rest of this video Thanksgiving break there's like a little bookstore near school that we love I just wanted to go there and see if they had any Christmas books there and I'm only gonna limit myself to one like if there is any I'm gonna get only one yeah please I am I swear I'll believe it when I see it I don't even know if they'll have Christmas books out yet. I think they will. I want like a cute like romance ones. Like I don't want like, I just want like cute like Hallmark vibes. So we're just gonna go see if they have any. Lazy Sunday mornings hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you. Play your favorite movie Laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two That corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home With you Guys Let the record show! Okay, so I got... Actually, maybe I won't tell you about them yet Until I have bought all the books And then I will do a haul at the end of this video Okay Back to the video. <laughs> book sarah should get i know it'll be too late but like <laughs> she wants to get either no um, they're in the comments right now telling us yeah they are she wants to get 50 shades of gray or uh wicked sexy liar by christina lauren comment down below what she should get <laughs> It's 
much, much later, like a lot of days after I went book shopping. I'm gonna be doing a haul for you guys of the four books I ended up getting. I'm actually really excited about every single one of these books. I can't wait to tell you guys what they're about. Yeah, let's just get into the haul. Also, I'm so sorry I look crusty. I just got back from the gym. So the first two books I got at the bookstore in Pleasantville when I went with Fran, and I got Kiss Her Once For Me by Allison Cottrum and One Last Gift by Emily Stone. First and foremost, let's talk about this one. This book starts out with Ellie. She has everything. She has a dream job. She meets this girl that she likes, but then all of a sudden she like loses all of that. She doesn't have her job anymore. Things don't work out with the girl. She starts working at a coffee shop and then Andrew, the shop's landlord, proposes a fake marriage. A marriage of convenience. So we're getting like a little bit of like fake dating type vibe, I think. But then, oh, Oh yes. Then, when they're gonna get like fake married, Andrew introduces Ellie to his sister and turns out it's the woman that she met that things like didn't work out. So now I think it's like a little love triangle type thing. I really liked that it had LGBTQ representation in it so I wanted to pick this one up. It didn't seem like your typical Christmas like little just cute book so I really wanted to read this one. My prediction of how I'm gonna like it, I'm gonna say three and a half or four stars. I don't know if I'm gonna be obsessed with it. I think it's gonna be different from like your typical little cutesy Christmas book. I do think it'll be a little better than that. So that's why I'm saying three and a half to four stars. Next book, let's talk about One Last Gift by Emily Stone. This one. Okay, this one I remember I picked up because it sounds sad as fuck. I was like, Christmas books? Like, I thought it'd be like a cute little like happy ending, you know, put a bow on it. It's perfect. But this one sounded like it was gonna rip my heart out. So naturally I had to get it. Cassie and Tom lost their parents when they were young and that's how they bonded. But then 20 years later, Cassie loses Tom too. She's all alone now. But then she finds an envelope with her name on it written in Tom's handwriting and it's the first clue to a Christmas scavenger hunt and Tom would apparently make these for her every single year. This just sounds sad because he's gone. It says Tom's presence sets Cassie on a heart-wrenching and beautiful journey that will change her life if she lets it. Oh she travels. I didn't even know that. It says she travels from London to the Welsh mountains to the French countryside. Oh, oh my god wait. They are brother and sister. Tom and Cassie are brother and sister. Oh my god. Okay I thought it was a romance. I thought Cassie and Tom were like married. Oh my god. Okay never mind. So like scratch like all that. Apparently they're brother and sister. They lost their parents when they were young and then Tom also passes away. Okay so yeah yeah, this is definitely a different Christmas book. It's not a little tiny romance. It is, I think, going to be very sad, but at the same time, very good. I'm gonna predict this one as four or four and a half stars. I think I'm gonna like it just because it is like a different, I feel like I'm saying this for all of them already. It seems like it's not just like, like I said, it's not like a cute little wrap it up with the bow. It seems like it's gonna be very sad. I've also never read any books by any of these authors. So maybe I'll find a new author that I like. Moving on to the books that I got at Barnes and Noble with Sarah. These two I'm very, very excited for, especially this first one I'm gonna talk about. Like, I'm literally so excited. If you guys remember, before I went to that store, I was like, I really wanna find a thriller Christmas book. So, actually, when I went to Barnes & Noble, I was looking forever. I knew there had to be a Christmas book table, and I could not find it. My Barnes & Noble is in a mall, and I went in through the mall. Couldn't find it at all. I thought it'd be by the door, but it was by the front door. So, I literally looked through the whole store, and then finally found the Christmas table. That was like a side note that, like, was not important, but I got to the Christmas table, and what was there? A Christmas thriller sitting right on the table waiting for me. The book I got is called Twas the Knife Before Christmas by Jacqueline Frost. Look at it. I am literally so excited for this book. Oh my god. I'm literally so excited. Okay. A body turns up in the town square. The main character Holly's best friend is the main suspect because everyone in the town saw her friend fighting with the person who was killed. There's just like a lot of evidence adding up against her. And then Holly, the main character, she is going to try and solve the mystery before Christmas. Oh, and there's going to be a budding relationship with the sheriff. So I think there's going to be a subplot of romance. This one, I, I'm literally so excited. Like I want to start reading this right now, bro. My prediction for this book, five stars, four and a half or five stars. Come on, bro. I feel like I'm hyping it up a lot, so I'm a little nervous. Wait, is this a series? It says a Christmas tree farm mystery, and on the bottom it says author of 12 sleighs of Christmas. Hold on. Oh my god, yeah, I think, I don't know if it's a series, but if you guys, I don't think you guys can see this that well, but like all the covers have the same graphic on the front. I think it's just like one of those things where they're kind of interconnected, but like not a series. Anyways, I think this is gonna be five stars. Most excited for this one out of this whole video. Finally, the last book I got, this one is the tip 
typical wrap it up with a bow perfect little Christmas vibe. I had to get one. And I actually watched one of Haley Pham's videos like the day after I got this book and she also got this book. So now I'm like even more excited to read it because if Haley Pham likes it, I think I'm gonna like it. So the last book I picked up is There's Something About Mary by Cody Hall. This one is a thick one. It's like almost 400 pages, I think, or it is 400 pages. The main character, her name is Mary Winters. That part right off the bat when I picked this up, I was like, Ooh. This is gonna be a cliche one. It says she's had a disaster of a year and she really needs a lot of Christmas cheer to make up for that. She's gonna take all of her frustration and put that into working at the Winter's Christmas tree farm. Her family isn't ready to like hand over the business to her, but she's determined to like prove herself. And she meets this guy on a dating app and it says he's been giving her the confidence that she needs to like prove to her family that she's ready for this. But what Mary doesn't know is that the person she's texting actually works at the farm and his name is Clark Griffin. His name's Clark. He's a single dad and he keeps to himself, but the more Mary dedicates herself to the farm, the more Clark falls for her generous heart and jolly spirit. So they're like flirting online and in person, but they don't know that it's the same person. I just thought that sounded really cute. I'm excited for this one. I think this will be like a quick little Christmas read. I'm predicting like three, three and a half stars for this one because I don't think it's going to be like my favorite book ever, but like I do think I'm going to like it. Those are the four books I bought in this video. Let me know in the comments if you have read any of these and what your thoughts are. Let me know which ones you want me to read because spoiler, I will be making a reading vlog of reading some of these. So let me know which ones you think I should read in that video. Make sure to follow me on Goodreads and Instagram for more reading updates. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I had so much fun. I love book shopping even though I have a TBR that is growing and growing and growing. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Watch your life inside your mind, mind.